can see the breakdown of some of our mulch into the soil. It's more nutrient rich now because of how we've laid down and kept laying down the mulch. Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, it's Mulching Monday around here on day 175. Of the Spoken Garden Daily. So guys, today we're talking about soil building using wood chip mulch. Yeah, we have a lot of wood chip around our yard and if you've been watching for a while, you know that. And we're kind of always spreading mulch, aren't we? Kind of seems like it. Kind of seems like it. But before we get to all that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on every daily video we post. So guys, today we're thinking about spreading more mulch in our yards. Big surprise, right? Um, while we're thinking about spreading the mulch, we thought, hey, we want to add some new bulbs to a certain area. What is the soil building looking like out in that area of the yard where we have that mulch? So we wanted to look at that and we wanted to show that to you. So you guys, if you're like us, you have areas of your yard that has kind of poor soil. And that's what we have in kind of this whole area of our yard. Pretty much our whole yard. It yeah. doesn't matter if it's front or back. We've really got doesn't. this we've got this sandy, little bit clay soil, but mostly sand that we found out from that soil test we did earlier this year. You can find that episode uh, from before, we'll link that down below. So guys, we know we have really bad soil. It's not the best. We wanna make it better. So what do we do? We add wood chip mulch. It breaks down, it adds nutrients to the soil, it helps improve the soil profile for better drainage. It does a lot of great things, and plus, it smells good. Saying all this, we wanna plant bulbs, right? We wanna plant bulbs in this area. We've dug a hole to show you where we kinda wanna plant them, and this hole specifically shows some different layers going on for our soil building. Why do we want to show this to you? Because mulch is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool stuff. So what we have down here, if you want to take a look, is we've got a hole dug. And this is where we want to plant some bulbs in this general area, some tulip bulbs. Well, we know we need to get down to a certain level. And we wanted to dig down, find that. Well, while we're here looking at this, we can see the breakdown of some of our mulch into the soil. And what we have here is we've got the soil down below. It never really used to look like this. It I'm wasn't not... this dark. It wasn't this nutrient rich. And over the years, what we've done is we've got some older mulch, an older layer of mulch right here. And then we put this new stuff on top earlier this summer. And so you can see there's finer particles right here. When those particles reach a certain size, they get small enough, they can actually filter down into the soil and they start to rebuild the soil. They add more space to the soil, they help with drainage, but they also add nutrients as they break down. Right? Those nutrients are getting down into the soil profile. It becomes more available for plants to just suck up and use and stay healthy. And that's what we're really trying to do with this mulch. Like Sean said, we're gonna put a whole bunch of tulip bulbs in this area. Um, what depth usually do you, tulip bulbs need to be planted? Um, usually uh, you can go by rule of thumb and it's two to three times the height of the bulb itself. So let's say it's an inch and a half. If you go two times that uh, height of that bulb, then it's three inches down below the soil surface. Uh, usually you wanna go, you know, three to four, maybe five, depending on how big the bulb is. So uh, in this case, uh, this is a perfect depth for us because we know from experience that this mulch layer, it looks huge, right? It looks really big. But by the time the spring rolls around, this mulch layer is gonna actually compact down to about probably half, if not really close to half. And that's just because of gravity. That's because of water continually hitting this in our climate, especially in the Northwest here. And it's gonna keep pushing it down, compacting it down. So we know from experience, this is gonna get about halfway. So if we go about here for our uh, soil surface, we're gonna base our planting depth on that for the bulbs. So if we go here and we go down to here, that's, that's about four inches, a little bit over maybe, but that'd be perfect for our bulbs, for our tulip bulbs. And they'll have really healthy soil to grow in, and right? That's exactly. kind of the whole purpose. Like, exactly. We wanted to improve the soil nutrient levels. We want to improve the soil structure. This is going to really be good now for bulbs to be planted into. So speaking of bulbs, you guys, if you didn't see yesterday's video, we showed you a bulb book that we wrote last year. It's a very small little mini book. We have it on Amazon right now, and we're gonna link it down below because it would be perfect for you if you're ready to plant your bulbs. Yeah, guys, it's 30 pages packed full of information to help you get your bulbs on the ground, when to plant them, and how to treat them. And how deep to plant them, too. So guys, as always, leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yep, that's a wrap for today. We'll be back tomorrow with our next project, so come on by to see what we're up to. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.